What's going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. We are in Warframe, and we're talking about the Skana Prime today in this build video. Uh, I was asked again to put one together, so I am doing it happily. This is a weapon that was exclusive to the Founders Pack, the Master and Grandmaster levels, uh, if you have gotten those. Um, you can still use this build that I'm going to put together for you on the Skana, and it will work just as fine. You will see here in a minute that the difference is not very significant with the two weapons in terms of stats uh, but I'll show it to you anyway um, so that way you understand what it is but I do like this weapon many of you know that I am happy to take any of my weapons anywhere I run uh, and I can make a decent enough build for myself anyway in my terms that I'm happy to run this even at the highest levels so let's take a look here so the, the comparable difference between the regular Skana and the Skana Prime as you can see there are some advantages to the prime but nothing is really significant we have a slight increase in slash puncture and impact damage um, and that would also give us a slight increase in wall attack spin attack and leap attack the biggest changes here are actually critical chance which really doesn't doesn't make any difference anyway with 10 percent with only one and a half multiplier but um, the attack speed the attack speed goes up to a one from an eight that is a big difference uh, in terms of basic attack speed but overall it's not too much different that's why I'm saying you can put this together on the Skana and the Skana will still be a very good weapon so with that said let's go ahead and get into the actual build alright let's go ahead and take a look at the Skana Prime again the Skana is not really that much different than the Skana Prime but uh, so we've, we've seen the base stats here uh, when we were just comparing the other two So let's take a look at how I've got this one built and I really like it just as simple as it is um, Okay, so we're using crimson dervish, which as you can see is strong whirlwind attacks Which you saw me doing and uh, it's great because it's a nice fast uh, Stance and works works really well now in terms of our basic stats What we're doing here is we're putting in a lot of basic uh, damage so pressure point jagged edge to bring up slash the new buzz kill to bring up slash even more spoiled strike to bring up our damage so we've got a 220 percent damage increase and we've got a 210 percent slash damage increase it's bringing us to these numbers over here which are leap attack 1064 spin attack 1143 which is awesome because the Whirlwind does so many spin attacks that this is going to be one of those very useful points in interest here. Uh, stamina is up to 11. Wall attack is 2131. We got impact and puncture brought up to 20.1. And slash is 290.8. Now, we also throwing in Fury. Fury is going to bring in our uh, speed all the way up to a 1.1. Because we took down uh, with the spoiled strike, we wanted to put that back in there. We got a little bit higher than what we originally started at. And then I went real simple. I went with Fever Strike at a 90% and a North Wind uh, Freeze damage here at 60%. Um, you don't really see much of a, you won't see a status chance change per se. So even if I were to go and try and find maybe. What is that mod's name over here? Vicious Frost, which is 60% damage, even if I were to put that in. I could increase myself here a little bit, get 16% status chance, and it wouldn't make a difference here. Because um, they're both 60%, so I could leave Vicious Frost in there and get the additional status chance. It's not a huge amount, but uh, it would be there. And of course, I've got Life Strike. Uh, the reason I have Life Strike is for when I go over on higher levels. Um, that way I can, obviously, when I'm in there, Hitting it hard, I can I can get some damage back. But this uh, fever strike with the freeze will give me my viral damage, and I really enjoy the viral with this weapon. Uh, once you get in there, as you can see. So if this is how I've got it built. Hopefully you do enjoy it. Again, you can use this for the regular Skana build, and it will be on a regular Skana build for me as well. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, please do feel free to leave them below. If you like this video, hit that like button for me. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.